do you know, I, I think leaving the weigh rooms when I hit home, yeah. you know, because I won't ever be back in there again. You know, that that's that will be the toughest thing. You know, uh, I think leaving the weigh room um, will be toughest. And, and obviously, when you when you pull up for the last time, um, yeah. it's it's. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but um, it's, it's not a day that I ever look forward to. But uh, sadly, every sportsman it happens to, and it comes to, and um, I feel it's come too quick for me. But at the same time, I know it's probably the right thing. You know, if I can ride 289 metres in a season, why can't someone else do it? You know, of course they can. That's what worried me. You know, that that that's what worried me. You know, this year when I thought I was going to be lucky enough to ride 300 winners before I got injured in October, it was a huge disappointment in, in not being able to ride 300 winners. I wanted to be a jockey um, from a pretty early age and, and was lucky enough to fulfil my dreams, that's for sure. And I will carry on riding horses when I'm, when I'm retired. The, the, the adrenaline rush of the buzz might not be the same, but I still have the love of riding horses. Yeah, I won't ever be back. You know, it's just, it's not the, you know, sure, I know I'm going to miss riding. I know I'm going to miss it every day. But uh, am I going to go back to it? No, because the reason I'm retiring is because I wanted to retire while I was champion jockey. I wanted to retire while I was still as good as I, as I thought I've always been.